All right, cool. First thing you got to do, right? You got to go to the create or develop page and then this button under experiences, create new one. It'll, I mean, you have to install Roblox Studio, but if you have it installed, it's going to open it. I'm not going to go through how to install Roblox Studio because, you know, big button and then it tells you how to do it. So, all right. And then you'll see all this stuff. Uh, all of these aren't like not good. Actually, these are just levels except that one, but we're going to be cool. So we're going to go to, let's go classic base split. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to make ob your obstacle course. So right click the base plate and then press the delete button. Instead, we want a cool spawn. So click the big part button and we'll make this thing. And now that we have this thing, we can click the scale and then go to model and then tick these two off. So there's no check that lets us like, you know, move it like that cool stuff. And what we're going to do is going to go to the properties and let's make it big on both ends, but still this width. This is the X, so it'll adjust the that way. And then this is the Y, so it'll adjust the up and down. And then the Z is this left and right. So that's our like little starting part. And now we can press Control D. And then click the Move tool, and we can drag on these arrows to move it. Now you want to enable collisions. And then move it till it can't move through the block anymore. Turn off collision, Control D, turn on collisions. And then move it. And if we have collisions on, we duplicate. It just goes on top, which is not what we want. I'm sure there's a more effective way to do that, but you know, that's the most basic way. So now we want to color these. So click the part in the middle, click this drop down, and then pick a funny color. Let's go neon green. And then we want to click it, click one of these outside ones, hold shift, click another, and then click all of them. And now we want to pick a different color. So let's go a darker, darker green. That looks terrible, but you know, that's how you color stuff. <laughs> and now we want to change the material of the spawn. So we'll go here, go to the material and let's change it to neon. So it's glowing now. Now we want to make sure we know this is a spawn point. So we'll right click, rename, spawn. Now we can highlight all of it by holding click and then you know highlighting then control g and then right click rename spawn blocks and now we gotta make this you know work so i have a whole video uh i'll put the little info thing so you can learn how to put the checkpoint system in but just for the sake of time i'm not gonna go through all of that that video is the one you need to go watch so we're gonna build our first stage right let's just keep it simple Add another part. Let's change this one to be a little bit lighter. So the player knows they're supposed to walk this way. Put it up against, line it up, make it a little bit wider and make it long. Add another part. Make this fill the entire length. Now we're going to call this red by just going over here. Brick color, really red. Change the material to neon. Now we want to make this fill the player, right? So we add a script and then tie it. Script.parent.touch. Connect function. Hit. We'll check if it's a player. And then we put this part again without the if. Health equals zero. So that'll just, you know, make them go oof. But before we press play to check it, make sure to highlight it all and press anchor so that doesn't like fall endlessly into the void and then we want to duplicate this now i want to put our move on to six studs actually we want to do 12 studs at that point jeez duplicate move duplicate move duplicate move and now we got to make this just a little bit longer and that's it and then we take, take this spawn blocks duplicate it move it all the way over turn our collisions on and put it against it make sure it's all anchored it's all anchored, we're all good. And then you can press this play button. Oh, I forgot to put a spawn point. We gotta put a spawn point. Actually, we, you don't need a spawn if you did the checkpoint tutorial and all that jazz, but I did not. So I'm just gonna put a spawn point here. Leave the decal, make it transparent. All right, so as you can see, we got our stuff. We can walk around. Now we can jump over it, jump over it, jump over it, jump over it. And if we touch it, we oof. And that does what we want. And now for the next stage, we're going to add the invisible bridges. So what we got to do is take our part, line it up, make another one, 
distance them. Boom. Distance it a little. Boom. Make sure those are all anchored. Now we want to differentiate them, so we're going to recolor these to be different colors. And now, only one of these is going to have collision, right? So we can, you know, actually win stuff. So, let's make it the pink one. So we're going to scroll down until we see Ken collide. We want to turn that off. Now, if we don't want to play our first stage, we can press this drop down and press play here. It'll spawn you right where your camera is. Now it's the pink one, right? So you can walk on that. But if we go to the yellow one, we fall right through. And now if we fall far enough with that, it'll kill us automatically because you just fell into the void, right? Now we duplicate this, move it over, collisions on, line it up. Now we want to add circular jumping, right? So we want to press the drop down on the parts, add a sphere, and scale this by holding shift and dragging. And that'll keep it all even. So we line these up so player can jump to it, add a bit of a challenge, move them around, raise them. Now don't put them too far because you still need to be able to get to it. But we want to make this, you know, fun to look at. So click on this, add a new color. New color. New color. And let's just go classic. So now it's all unique colors. Highlight it. Anchor it. And now if we press play, we can go over, jump on it, and we start to notice that you can, you know, slide down a little bit and then jump. And that's perfectly spaced. So now we've got to take our checkpoint, duplicate it. And now we don't want it too close to this circular ball because we want them to jump to the checkpoint. So that looks perfect. Let's do it again. Load in. Jump. 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 And jump. And that's the circular jumps. And now we're going to add a platform jump. So press the drop down. Block. And now we want to make this add a little bit. Hold control to scale it. It'll do both ends at the same time. Hold control, scale it a little bit wider. Add a new color. Line it up. Add a gap. Duplicate it. Move it over. Move it up. Add a new color. Duplicate it. Move it over. Move it up. Add a new color, duplicate it, move it over, move it up, and a new color. And now we can copy the spawn blocks, move it over, move it up, make it possible to jump to, anchor it, all of that, press play, and now we can jump, 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 and jump. And now you've got your little old mini game. And now we want to publish our game, right? So we'll go over to File, Publish to Roblox, and it'll give us this. And we'll call it like Obby Awesome Swaggin. In our description, it's an awesome obby that you can swag on. Turn off Team Create unless you have multiple people. You want multiple people to work on it. And we'll leave it on for everything. And console has these special requirements. No blood. No intense violence, no swearing, no Robux gambling, and no drug reference. Safety agree, and then now it's on console. Now you can press create. It'll publish. Press close. Now if we refresh our develop page, we'll see Obby Awesome Swagging. We click on the start place, and it'll bring us here. Now we press play on this. It'll open Roblox. So here we are in our actual game on Roblox. You can jump over the stuff. They still kill us like they should, and we respawn like we should. Now we can beat the whole lobby, and that's the whole thing. And that's your first Roblox game. Oh, I just found and that's done in like oh, how many minutes? Future me, I don't know, like, like almost 10 ish. I had this order that I, I don't know, man. Awesome, that's how many minutes. It's only like you know, 
it's not that much. You could add a lot more to this. You could add these on to those platforms so you can't step on certain spots. You have to jump even further. You could add these to parts like the edges of these. You could do so much with this. I'm not creative enough to do any of it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Me put this to put this the self promo. Subscribe or something. Like the video, share it. Awesome.